So, it's Heather. Um, this is my video response to Shan from Project Lifestyle's video, It Takes Guts to Have Guts. Um, as you'll notice, this is coming almost a week after her video was posted, but yeah, it took me that long to talk myself into it. Well, the process of talking myself out of and then re-talking myself back into doing it. Um, so this is my first video that I'm posting, um, as a video response to any video, um, but this is actually my first video that I'm making in a really, really long time, in about a year, um, we have a last year, I was doing videos on a regular basis, posting one every day, and somebody commented it wasn't even somebody on youtube somebody like in my personal life commented on a video and it totally discouraged me and instead of doing the mature thing of shrugging it turning the other cheek and um i got discouraged and i stopped posting videos and i deleted all the videos that i had up um because i was that upset about what they had said so last year about october-ish times i got addicted to Project Life Size. My addiction to Project Life Size began. So anybody that knows me knows that Project Life Size is like a drug. Um, I have to get my fix every day and if I don't get my fix for whatever reasons on Saturday whatever day I can get caught up I make sure I get all the shots of Project Life Size that I missed during the week. I always get caught up. So I watched Anne's video and I have to say that it takes great courage to take off your shirt in public if you're a person of size. Um, it's hard just to sometimes take off your clothes and have to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, this is the way I look and this is the body that I have and this is the body that I have to love. And to get on video and just say, here is my belly love it or hate it this is mine and it doesn't matter what you think because I love me no matter what that takes a lot of courage and I'm totally proud and I was inspired by that and I was like you know what I'll join in and I'll be one of those few people that make a video response and show their belly also because it's almost a week later and only 15 people have actually made video responses at this point that I've checked and I want to be one of those few people that can say I, I, I was there at the beginning and I showed my gut, um, on YouTube, and some in some weird way it's kind of empowering to know that I went there and I'm like I love me. Now I'm showing you all of me that there is to love. I may have some extra pounds of loving to be given to myself, but. I love all of it and even when I'm ashamed of certain parts of myself I shouldn't let that hold me back from anything I shouldn't let that hold me back from taking advantage of all the things that there are in the world um, to be offered to me and um, for a long time I did that and I have stopped doing that recently so this is really empowering and uplifting for me to be doing so here it goes so I am nervous as can be but I'm going to do it um, so I'm just going to back up so you guys can see me. This is all of Heather. This is all of me. I'm about a size 18, 20. Not that big. But, um, okay, I'm like chickening out. Okay, so this is, okay, one of my other problem areas that I'm pretty ashamed of is my arms. They're really big. Um, um, I have to say in a way they just start sagging because at the time at the moment I'm currently about 275 pounds it like varies a couple of five pounds and goes back a couple of five pounds I'm, like in this 10 pound range between 265 and 275 constantly um so here you go so this is the gut this is the gut um to fold it down so you can see all the hangage this is yeah so this is my gut. There you go. That's it. Um, the other part of me that I don't like would be my back rolls. As you can see, 
that, yeah, that's the other part I really don't like. Um, and just the arms and like, um, that would be the areas of myself that I really, really don't like. I'm really self-conscious. Nobody sees this. Nobody sees this ever, ever. So, um, love it or hate it, this is all of me and I love me. Um, so thank you for letting me show all of me on on YouTube. And so like even though there are parts of me that I am self conscious about, insecure about, parts of me that sometimes I wish weren't the way they were. I overall do love myself. There are parts of me that I like. Um I like my nose. I think I have a really cute nose. I like my eyes. Um, I like the shape of my lips. Um, I like my bosom area. Um, I like the shape of my body, like the general curve I have. One of my friends, she um, described it as a cello. And I was like, what on earth type of body shape is a cello? She's like, it's an hourglass, only bigger. I was like, that's a nice way of putting it. So... I do like my general, I do generally like myself, um, I think that in anything, no matter how you look, I am, whether you're religious or not, this is the way you're made, this is how God made me, um, I could always do things like plastic surgery to change myself, but I'd always know that that wasn't who I am, that was some modification that was made, so I, I, I think that you have to be comfortable as who you are, um, I'm not telling anybody to stay obese or be morbidly obese and be proud of that because you do want to be healthy. And um, if I could get to healthy weight, I don't want to be st a stick figure, but I do want to be healthy because um, you have a lot of pain in your body, you have a lot of health issues, and it's so much better for you to be healthy. So stay at a healthy weight, I would advise anybody, but always love who you are no matter what weight, no matter what you look like whatever race ethnicity no matter what you look like make sure you love yourself for who you are and don't want to change you don't want to change your outer appearance um don't do it because you're ashamed of yourself do it before more do it for um to live a fuller life do it for reasons that will enhance your life don't do it because you hate yourself i hope nobody hates themselves i hope that if anything from all these people showing off all these parts that we're insecure about and that we struggle with that we can empower you to feel better about yourself because you may not be as big as me or somebody else that is making a video and you'll be like oh my gosh i'm not even that big so what am i ashamed of i want everybody to love themselves for who they are um I always say it's not really about size acceptance, race acceptance, or anything. If you don't accept me, I have to accept myself. So it's always going to be about self-acceptance. Love yourself and accept yourself for who you are. Even at times, who you are doesn't isn't who you wish you were. Always accept yourself for who you are. Um. So this is my long drawn out video that's going up on YouTube is in response to um, Shan's video on Project Life Size. So I just want to say that I love all the Project Life Size girls. You guys are totally inspirational and um, thank you for getting me back up on YouTube. Um, yeah. Um, thank you guys. Um, whoever watches this video, if it's one person, two people, it doesn't really matter to me. Thank you for watching, sticking in, looking at my belly and all these other parts of me that I don't like. Um, bye guys.